yet again and I'm so excited to be here so if you're a returning subscriber karibu sana if you're a new subscriber welcome and welcome back again so today we are going to be talking about challenges of single parenthood and I'm going to be talking about challenges that are faced as a single mother of one so number one I faced emotional struggles so, so much about emotional struggles so many times I've had uh, I've had my lows and my highs and uh, since I got my baby, like uh, times I'll really go back and think think so much about myself, think so much like like the fears that I have, how I have to overcome them, and the fear, the biggest fear that I have as a mother is, am I going to be able to give my daughter the kind the kind of life that I've dreamt to give her? Am I, am I going to give my daughter the best kind of life? And that's the biggest challenge so far, and it's something that keeps me. It doesn't really drain me, but it drains me a little bit because I really wanna extra work extra hard and provide everything. Cause she's the only I'm the only person like she's depending on, and I really don't don't want to let her down. I really don't want to let myself down. Cause at the same time, as much as I'm providing for her, I'm providing for myself, and it's something that like I have to work towards it at at a at a smarter way and make things make things look straightforward and make things look good and make make us happy and do each and everything else so emotional struggles zimekuwa like so so many times whenever i want to do something i have to like think twice about doing it and that comes back to our point number two and it's lack of financial support so when you're a single parent most of the time you're the only one who like works so much so you have to like when you're hustling and you're not employed you have to like look for either manual jobs or you have to establish something like you can start selling clothes you can buy messages you can sell smokies and all those things just to sustain yourself because you're not getting another source of income from any other person at you so you have to like go out doing so many jobs out there that you will be like na kwa 10 hapa 10 pale 10 pale 10 pale like that uh, if you came here and you get to do what you do because at the end of the day your child is a priority your child is a priority and that then and financial support when you're having financial support um any lack of financial support uh it makes you feel like you have to now prioritize other things before others like you have to do like the most important things before other things so like uh if you have school fees you're paying and you wanted to do some some things to do with fun you really can't do that so much so much of the fun part so you have to like uh, pay the the school fees pay the the bills the rent and other other stuff that take a higher priority than others and as much as you're working hard and having that lack of financial support so in order to get multiple jobs to sustain yourself you ha that ca that brings us to our point number three you lack quality time with your child and it's something that really bothers me most times because uh, most times either my child is at school and i'm out there hustling and working hard to make ends meet and we lack that time to bond but trust me when i get the time to bond with my daughter we have the best time of it all uh we enjoy our time no matter how little we get we get to eat we enjoy our time and we create we create a bigger bond by doing so many fun things you take walks you go out for shopping you go out like you do fun things whatever she like she loves doing you can do painting together you can do drawing together when you're home early you can do homework together and um trust me it's a good thing to do and it's going to make up for the lost time that you you really never had when you were busy busy working hard and or he or she was at school studying and another point that i have is guilt so many times you find yourself under the circumstances of feeling guilty like maybe you want to go out with your friends and you na jirudisha nyuma unasema sasa nitafanya nini i don't want to leave my child with anybody i'm a how safe is my child with another person and you feel that guilt like at a way you feel like you're stuck in one place you can do so much 
you you can't meet up with your friends anymore you can't do the things you used to do be, be, before you had children and it's it's a quite of a quite of a big task it's quite of a big responsibility on your shoulders but i realized at the end of the day you need to make yourself happy whether you're a single parent or not you just need to make yourself happy you need that break you need to feel good you need to step out go out with your friends have fun dress up look sexy look beautiful go meet other new people just go out and figure out life and see a different dimension of life and it's going to give you a whole new vibe positivity and everything that you, you like always want and imagine go for shopping do your makeup just do anything that's going to be to make you happy no more guilt no more guilt so far the, the very first thing you should even tell yourself is i'm doing the best that i can to give my children the best i'm doing the very best that i can to give my daughter a good life uh, i'm not letting her down but at the end of the day i still need me i don't want to get lost inside or uh, in the world of parenthood that uh, that i should forget myself and not do the things that make me happy you don't need that at any given time all you need to do is be happy be strong and always be positive always have positive thoughts at the end of the day in the beginning of the morning just have positive thoughts throughout so point number five we will be talking about low self-esteem most of the time so mostly <clears throat> us young mothers who got our children at, uh, at a young age uh, we face low self-esteem like maybe you are married and you are staying together with your partner then again you got separated you have that self-esteem about the society how is the society going to think about me how are people going to think about me how are my friends going to to take this situation it's all about you it's all about you how you feel inside and how you take it you after having that breakup how do you handle that how do you take care of yourself after that and after all that you need to like be like you know what i've messed things happen and I really need to wake up from this this mess and make myself better make myself a better version and don't have any low self-esteem it happens to have it's normal it happens and it's very normal to have low self-esteem but give yourself the assurance that it takes to be a better person at any given time and after a while, you'll see, you'll, you'll see the results. You'll see the people who used to make you feel bad about yourself, people who used to not to associate your, uh, with you, they're, they're not coming back because you're giving out the best of yourself. And so they can be like, oh, she's very confident. She can stand on her own. She's very she's very smart. She can do things on her own. She doesn't need a man to depend on to be, to depend on her. She doesn't, she, he doesn't need a woman to... To bring up those children and it's something that uh if you find yourself in most of the in this situation of single parenthood we should take it positively i know it takes time to heal but don't let let the self the low self-esteem pull you down don't let your friends pull you down don't let your the society pull you down it doesn't matter what they say out there it's all about you and another thing Point number six, uh, it's pressure to make decisions. Most times I've been in a situation where I don't know what decision, when, I'm, when I need to make a decision to do, to do with my daughter, uh, I find it hard to make a decision alone. So most times I'll refer back to the people who are really close to me and get the most upright decision because sometimes you, you, it's, something, it's something like complex you can't make that decision alone and you need help so in that situation i'll urge you to have a very strong support team in that i mean find the very closest of your friends that you have go for if it's your mother it's if it's your father just go find someone you can always vent to someone who you know you can trust with your information because not everybody but if it's a, if it's your family go do it if it's your friend go do it before you make an upright decision about your child first have outside outside advice so that when you go back you can sit back and relax and you're like okay now let me let me flash back now how is this how can i do it how how can i take it from here and uh you shouldn't feel at any given moment that you should you should be 
having to face anything alone no you should just have that support team create a good support team and when you have a good support me trust me guys you will always feel comfortable and by the end of the day you'll always make sure you do things that you love like do things that will make you get in the lost in this get lost in this uh, motion of you know you're stressed because of your single parent if you love cooking just go and cook if you love painting go and paint if you love going out with friends just go do it and it's something that is going to be some good type of therapy for you and it's something that is going to be really amazing and you're going to enjoy it and sooner or later you'll enjoy embracing yourself you'll enjoy embracing what you have and at any given moment your child is your happiness your child is your first priority your child is the kind of it's, it's like a gift from god and you should like always say t tell god and tell him like thank you for bringing me this responsibility i know you trusted me with this uh with this child or this son or daughter and i'm going to live up to it i'm going to make the best out of it i'm going to be the best mother i'm going to be the best father and trust me guys single parenthood is not easy being a parent is not easy it's the hardest thing ever nobody told me that and apart from that i enjoy being a mother and i don't regret at any given time being a mother and i love my daughter so so much uh, motherhood is a journey so i've learned so many things and i've had challenges i've had the good moments and those were the challenges that i've like those were the main challenges that i've faced as a mother and uh, you can share you can share your own challenges uh under the comment section i want to hear them you can see how we can help each other and if you like if you like you liked our video please comment also you can also sh share like and those who haven't subscribed to father Lini, please subscribe to my youtube channel i am very grateful and let's meet on my next video thank you